What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's Matt. I'm uh, in Brazil in my hotel room with COVID again. So um, things aren't going the way I want them to, but uh, I still want to uh, uh, put out my video. Uh, everything's delayed. Uh, I have to be in isolation for nine days in my um, Brazilian hotel room. So uh, I'm down here for a trade show, yada, yada, yada. I get COVID again, so. Give a little taste of that. Pretty sick. And then, um, That drugstore is supposed to be open 24 hours, and it's not. Uh, hope I don't need anything. And then uh, there's the view from my, uh, from my hotel. <coughs> As you can see, I am not in Mission Viejo. If you're offended by strong language, uh, please don't fucking watch it. All right. Hi, my name's Matt. I make rock star videos with this song, Doors Rock Star. A couple weeks ago, I was trying to figure out how to get the bike to the top of this mountain and still have juice to ride around. My buddy Jim said I should get another battery and carry it in my backpack. So I looked online. I found this dude with some spare batteries for sale. Turned out he had a broken rock star. Sondors wouldn't warranty it because he had modified it. I couldn't let the bike just sit there. So I decided to buy the bike. I'm going to build the best rock star on the planet. This is Rock Star Rescue. <sighs> So I'm not big on working on these bikes. I'd much rather ride them. So I made a deal with my sponsor to help me build the best rock star on the planet. Here's Ray, he's a professional bike mechanic. He's got a video on YouTube with over 200,000 views. So yeah, here's Ray putting it in his bike stand. You know, if I was in my garage, I'd have those straps or some kind of like makeshift deal or have to buy, you know, a $100 bike deal. And I'm just not down with that. If you're gonna build the best rock star on the planet, let's do it in a shop with a professional bike mechanic. Yeah, so everybody knows a weak spot on this bike is the rear hub. So Ray wasted no time. Uh, we knew the um, pals were shot. We knew the uh, bearings were shot. And uh, Ray's a pro bike mechanic. He doesn't mess around. He uh, yanks on it and it finally comes free. And then uh, he gave it to me. The, uh, the free wheel was like uh, finger tight. And uh, so here's uh, me like uh, unscrewing it and uh, you know, I'm trying to stay out of Ray's way so I don't get kicked out of the shop or nothing. So anyways, um, I pull off the uh, free wheel or I'll call it the cassette and uh, you can see this three Powell system and this weak ass spring, it's broken and it's shot. So. We weren't going to mess with it. We, uh, we just wanted to see where it failed. Thought this would be, you know, good content for uh, any other rock star owner out there. So, you know, it is what it is. It's a weak point, and, uh, you know, we're building the best. So we went and got the best hub you can get. It's a Hope Hub. It's 157 Super Boost. And uh, here's Ray just making sure I got the right one because, you know, he's like, who's this Matt dude? What, like, 
he's in my shop, like, That's filming good. me, man. Uh, this thing better fit. That's good. So, it fit. Next, it was time. Uh, the motor was grinding. And so, again, we're not here to mess around, you know. Uh, we're going to take this motor apart and not just re-grease it. We're going to find out what's wrong, see how it failed, and see how we can fix it. But if you're going to build the best rock star on the planet, you need to buy the best M620 Buffang mid-drive motor on the market. Ain't that right, Corey? That's Corey. He's cool as shit. Corey owns San Diego Electric Bike. So he's uh, going to help out with this. He's holding the motor up for Ray. Ray's like, why the hell isn't this coming out? You know, they're trying to, like, make light of things. And I'm just trying to stay out of the way. All right. So they're, uh, you know, making, making a little headway there. And... Uh, you know, Ray is uh, struggling with these three bolts. Like, uh, I think uh, they put too much paint on them, but how the hell did they get them in with too much paint on them? So here's Ray, like, uh, trying to figure this deal out. You know, he's spinning. He's a professional bike mechanic. He's pretty like, what the fuck? Corey's just like, yeah, I'm just going to maybe see if I can hold up this motor to see if uh, if I take any weight off it. And Ray's like, fuck it, let's hit it with a hammer. And I'm like catching these things like nobody's business. So finally the motor comes out and he's jerking on those wires like he's uh, milking a cow. But uh, Corey holds on to the motor. Ray uh, undoes the wires, and they finally get the motor free so that Corey can stick it up his shirt and act like he's having a baby. He's acting like that because the motor is, like, so heavy. He's, like, can't believe how heavy it is. So, anyways, we're going to take that motor apart and see what's wrong with it on episode two. So I got a bunch of good killer parts for this bike. Like I say, we're building the best. So we got a new motor coming. Uh, uh, here's Ray. He was super happy to use this tool that he rarely ever uses. Uh, this tool removes the race from your fork. So I see a lot of uh, people having uh, issues with that online. And then, um, so you need a special tool. And uh, then to um, put that back in, you need to uh, use a special tool. And this is some heavy duty shit, man. Like this isn't some wimpy ass hammer. And uh, that's not like some wimpy ass pipe. This is some heavy duty shit. And Ray is smacking the shit out of it. All right, so I'm standing there, and he puts a bicycle seat post through the whole headset. I'm like, what the hell did you do that for in my head? And then he jams the fork from up underneath, and I see that the post, he tells me, hey, could you pull this out for me? And I do, but it, it, it held everything in place. And so I was learning shit, and I was like, this is the whole reason why we're having a professional do this job. You can't build the best in someone's garage. So in literally 15 minutes, Ray's got the fucking fork in the bike. We're and just I'm just standing back going, damn, dude. All right, so the assessment is we're getting a new motor. We got to rebuild that rear hub. Uh, we need some ancillaries here and there, and uh, we'll update you on that. Next episode, we're going to take apart that motor, and uh, when the new motor comes in, we'll uh, head back to the shop with the new parts and install that. So stay tuned. Episode 2 is going to be troubleshooting the motor.